In this question, we are not given an argument, but rather a situation. We can see that because we're presented with only facts and no opinion. So it makes sense when we get to the question stem and see that we're being asked to explain. The correct answer will not contradict any of the facts given, but rather it will reconcile them. There was a problem with customer service knowledge. Then training was conducted, but complaints are still high. That's what needs to be explained. A possible explanation is that there is a new problem that has been generated. For example, maybe the training was conducted in an insulting manner and drove away some of the best agents. So the remaining agents are knowledgeable, but defective in some new way. That might not be the exact answer, but something like this might be in the answers, the generation of a new problem. Turning to the choices, A presents a new problem, but not one that would affect customer complaints. So A is out. B presents a new problem, increased wait time. That could affect customer complaints. So that could be an explanation. We'll keep B in. C is relevant and plausible, but it doesn't generate a new problem as we're looking for. Also, agents wouldn't have to be trained in every conceivable problem in order to be much better trained and for complaints to go down. So C is out. D doesn't matter. If the help team is better trained, they should rate higher. E shouldn't matter either. In fact, losing unhappy customers could be a reason to think the complaints would go down, in fact. Therefore, the correct answer is B.